My friend Hayden and I are working on the script for a brand new TV show called On The Go. It's always been my dream to have my own show. There's just so much to do. I know the basics of using a word processor. I've already typed the work out. But my skills definitely need to be sharpened. We use them for everything on the show. The scripts, audition flyers, cue cards. I even need it for the paper I'm writing about the experience of making the show from Ms. Winkler's class. I'm not one to wait around and I have a lot of updates to make, so let's get started. Before I can do anything, I need to open the word processor. What's great about software these days is that it anticipates what I need to do next. I can open the document from the recent document screen under the file tab because I just worked on it yesterday. If I hadn't used it for a while, I would select open and navigate to the folder I saved it in. Open the document titled script.docx. That's it! Now we can get started. The script is pretty rough right now. It needs some formatting to make it easier to read during casting and auditions. Most of the formatting I need can be found in the home section of the ribbon toolbar at the top. I know what some of these buttons do, but might need to figure some others out. I want to make the character names bold to help our actors see which lines are theirs. Bold text is heavier and darker than regular text. Unfortunately, Hayden tends to overdo it sometimes and writes everything in bold. It gets pretty hard to read after a while. Bolded text really grabs your attention, and it's all spaced out. But it's not great for long pieces of writing. It's perfect for a title or heading, or in our case, for character names. Make the character name Pat bold. Great job! That looks much better. This will really help the actors see where their parts are. I need to make sure the actors know that they should actually do the screen action, not just read the words. One easy way to do that is if we put the screen action into italics. Since italics are like slanted letters, it's a great way to set some parts of the text apart from the rest. It's less a uh, bold than bold text, so it's great for longer pieces of writing and still needs some emphasis. I also have a few places here and there with director notes and whatnot that need a different emphasis to distinguish them. I want to underline these sections. Once again, the home ribbon comes in handy for this part of the script. Make the actions in this passage stand out from those that need to be read by putting them in italics. Cool! That makes it so much easier for the actors to know what to read versus what to do. Now underline the part that says director's note. That's great! This will make it a lot easier for the actors to distinguish their parts from the director's suggestions. Script revisions are not just about making it easier for the actors to read and, well, act. Sometimes moving things around helps them flow better, so that the document makes more sense. That's where cut, copy, and paste come in really handy. To move something from one part of the document to another, I highlight the text I want to move, and then select the cut button. To place it in the new spot, I put the cursor where the text should go, and choose paste. For passages that repeat, I choose copy, and just like before, paste it anywhere in the document. Here we realize that we need Sam in the room earlier than the way we originally wrote the scene. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. Move the passage that says Enter Sam to the spot above the paragraph using the cut and paste buttons in the toolbar. Great! It makes much more sense to have Sam enter the room before he has to speak. This is Sam's big scene, and I'm going to be using that name a lot. Rather than typing it over and over, I'm going to use the copy function as a kind of shortcut. That way I can paste the name anywhere I need it. Copy the name Sam and paste it into a new dialog line. Nice work! That will save time and make sure the actor understands the lines in the big scene. Save the changes made so far. Great! The changes are saved! I need to save this work so I don't lose it. Once again, I'll rely on the toolbar. It's such an easy task, but it's pretty easy to forget. There's nothing more heartbreaking than losing all you've done because you didn't save regularly. 
I also need to print three copies of our script so we can all make notes on a hard copy when we meet. It might seem old-fashioned, but it can really help make changes more clear. To print multiple copies, I select File and choose Print. I change the number of copies to how many I need and select the Print button. Print three copies of the script so we can use them to take notes and make revisions. give us each a hard copy for making notes. The script looks so much better than when we started out, and it took no time at all. Now that we've printed and saved all the changes, I need to put the script away, but I still have work to do for other projects. To close a document but leave the word processor open, I use the File tab and choose Close. Close the script, but leave the word processor open to work on other projects. Thanks! Now I can move on. Wow, making those changes went a lot faster than expected. Now I feel like I can breeze right through all of my projects. Can you imagine how long it would have taken to do that by hand? We would have had to rewrite several pages a few times over. These new skills are really going to help make a great show. Thanks for your help! Alright, so... I gave you some basic overviews of uh, some of the easier skills that you need to use when it comes to word processors. Um, we are going to use this uh, starting tomorrow on an assignment that I'm going to give you. So make sure that you uh, went through that video. I will have that video uh, available tomorrow as well. Um, and I'm going to have some more directions that I'm going to give you when I give you the assignment as well. But uh, just make sure you go through this whole video um, and uh, be prepared for tomorrow.